This morning, the Navy's top civilian leader, Secretary Richard Spencer, fired. It appears he was pushed out after defying President Trump's support of Navy SEAL Eddie Gallagher. Gallagher was at the center of a high-profile war crimes case stemming from a 2017 tour of duty in Iraq. In July, he was acquitted of shooting Iraqi civilians and killing a captive enemy fighter with a knife. The jury convicted him of posing in photos with a dead ISIS soldier and recommended a reduction in rank. Last week, the president restored Gallagher's rank. But in what many saw as a disregard of the president's wishes, Secretary Spencer called for a review of Gallagher's status, threatening to strip him of the prestigious Trident pin that indicates he's a SEAL. In his resignation letter, Spencer writing in part, Unfortunately, I no longer share the same understanding with the commander-in-chief who appointed me in regards to the key principle of good order and discipline. I cannot in good conscience obey an order that I believe violates the sacred oath I took to support and defend the Constitution. Earlier Sunday, Gallagher lashed out on Fox News. This is all about ego and retaliation. This has nothing to do with good order and discipline. According to NBC News Pentagon correspondent Courtney Cuby, current and former military and defense officials say military leaders trying to save Spencer's job actually lobbied President Trump on board Air Force One to stop intervening in Gallagher's case. On Sunday, the Pentagon also saying Secretary Spencer had proposed a secret deal to the White House that would allow Eddie Gallagher to retire and retain his Navy SEAL status. Defense Secretary Mark Esper saying he was deeply troubled by this conduct. The president tweeting, I was not pleased with the way that Navy SEAL Eddie Gallagher's trial was handled by the Navy. Eddie will retire peacefully with all of the honors that he has earned. Gallagher's lawyer telling NBC News. This entire case has been a, a long battle. It's been a roller coaster. And you know, hopefully it's now finally over.